Moving on, the Kenya sugar industry has received another lifeline after the common market for Easternists in Southern Africa extended the sugar import safeguards by two years. The new safeguards are expected to start in February next year following the lapse of the current import protection measures. Kenya has been seeking sugar import extension safeguards since the year 2002, promising to reform the sugar industry to make it profitable and more efficient. However, every passing year, the industry has continued to sink deeper into mess. A state-proposed privatization of five loss-making public sugar companies is still admired in legal and political confusion because of varied interest. During the Comesa Council of Ministers 41st meeting, the ministers urged Kenya to share details of its sugar deficit with the other member states by December 30th, 2020. Kenya appealed to Comesa technical committees and requested for a two years extension after the current one lapses. The Ministerial Council urged Kenya to give preference to sugar originating from Comesa when seeking to plug its deficit. Despite many years of failed privatization plans, the government in July this year jump-started the process of selling its shareholding in Chemeril, Mohoroni, Miwani, Nzoia and South Nyanza sugar companies to private investors. The plan is facing resistance from county government and sugar farmers who claim they stand to lose in the process. The five sugar millers owe farmers more than 10 billion shillings in unpaid king deliveries. According to the Sugar Directorate, Kenya produced 441,000 tons of sugar against consumption levels of 1.1 million tons, leading to a deficit of close to 700,000 tons. The Comesa Safeguards allows Kenya to maintain a 350,000 ton sailing on duty-free sugar imports from its 19-member trading bloc.